Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Holy J TV. Of course, it's your boy Holy J, your number one infotainment news plug. Namanze, come on, subscribe to your channel. Kindly consider doing that because great content is coming. And thank you so much, manze. Ile support mnaendelea kunionyesha as usual. I salute you guys. So, leo kama kawaida mnajua ilikuwa burial ya Queen Elizabeth II. Na pale mtandaoni kumekuwa a lot of reactions juu kiangalia president of Kenya William Samoei Ruto was in attendance in that burial na kumekuwa story mingi ya vile African presidents wametreatiwa huko considering the fact that the US president was also in attendance na pictures zimekuwa pale mtandaoni presidents wa Africa vile unaona hapo hivyo wali fika wakiwa wamewekwa kwa mabasi na the president of US alikuwa na the beast na a full convoy pale mtandaoni kumekuwa a lot of reactions tumeona uh, watu wana compare vile the president anatreatiwa kwa country yake na vile anatreatiwa akiwa huko pia tumeona Mike Sonko ameweza ku tweet pale hivyo na ameweza kuandika hawa wazungu hawana adabu wanawekaje marais wa Afrika ndani ya bus moja huko London god forbid kitumbaya ifanyike kwa hiyo bus itakuwaje na imeweza ku raise a lot of reactions pale mtandaoni in Kenya and also in Tanzania watu wanasema remember Kenya and other African countries zenye presidents wao wako huko zilikolonizwa na Britain na ime raise a lot of reactions pale watu wakisema that that should not happen now pia wangefaa wapewe recognition hiyo kubwa na pia wangeachiwa pia waende na convoy zao ni nini, nini comment hapo hivyo utuambie what you think about this story kama unafikiria that was wrong ama watu watu wanasema it was racism na haikuwa jambo mzuri comment hapo chini utuambie if what people are saying kama ina make sense ama according to you ama ili fa kuwa hivyo vile iko in the meantime skiza kile ili kuwa ina happen iko over a million miles to over 115 countries before she completed her last tour a trip to malta with prince philip in 2015 an island where they'd lived as a young married couple Her first overseas trip as monarch was when she arrived in Kenya on the 1st of February 1952 as Princess Elizabeth. Six days later, she flew home as queen after the death of her father. Kenya's new president William Ruto is attending his first international trip as president. <laughs> 